The Greens have indicated they are open to giving Labor confidence and supply in the event of a hung parliament, even without getting anything concrete in return. The opposition has repeatedly ruled out going into a coalition if they can't secure an outright majority at next year's election. Greens leader Adam Bant has told Sky News he's determined to see Scott Morrison replaced as Prime Minister, but will try to convince Labor to shut down coal and gas operations in the process. Our preference uh, uh, and the approach that we will take uh, will be to kick the Liberals out but to work with the next government and push them to go further and faster because the more that we learn about Labor's climate policy, uh, the worse it becomes. Labor is now actively boasting that the same amount of coal and gas will stay in the system as under the Liberals. Like, that's not something to be proud of. That's a recipe for climate collapse. New South Wales is being warned to expect chaos across the school, bus and train systems as thousands take part in industrial action statewide. Unions are threatening more action and a potential summer of strikes. They're loud and want their voices heard. From Hyde Park, public teachers and principals took their fight for better pay to Macquarie Street. Together, they marched in the rain. Did I say union? Did you say power? Union! Power! Union! Power! Attendees from across the state taking part in a 24-hour stoppage and calling for action. We have um, a shortage of staff we can't fill in our school. We really, really need a significant pay rise and working conditions improved. I'm just sick of seeing students having to be split to different classes because there are so many teacher shortages every single day. Teachers want an annual pay rise of between 5 and 7.5 per cent, but the Premier is refusing to budge on his cap of 2.5. This is the first major industrial action in the state in a decade and unions are warning there could be more to come. This is in the hands of the Premier. The Premier wants to be the family Premier. The Premier must intervene. You don't care about teacher shortages. You don't care about kids. Unions say they have been trying to negotiate with the New South Wales government for the last 18 months, but the Education Minister has described the Teachers' Federation as an obstructionist protection racket. We want to work collaboratively with the unions on these issues, but as I said, we just seem to hit a, a brick wall every time we try to really talk about these, these matters, and it's frustrating for me. I think that that is inflammatory rhetoric from the New South Wales Education Minister. I think she should be focused on trying to solve this industrial dispute, not inflame it. Across town, transport workers walked off the job for a second day, the strike impacting over 30 bus services across southwest Sydney between Parramatta, Liverpool and Bonnie Rig. Drivers are also refusing to operate foreign-built trains, reducing services by about 75 per cent. We've been fighting for months and we'll continue to fight until we can actually stand up here and tell you that our network is safe. Workers are protesting a two-tier wage system and cuts to services as a result of privatisation. Disruptions to the network will continue this week. Danika DiGiorgio, Sky News, Sydney.